Hey everyone, coming to you from Worcester again where it's cold and wet outside so we're making a cream of broccoli soup. We're going to start with cooking off some onions, potatoes and garlic as our base. We've also got some veggie stock to use up. Um, we'll be adding the broccoli in right at the end. We don't want to overcook it and we want to keep the colour nice and vibrant and green. We'll be adding a little bit of homemade oat milk which we made this morning just to give it a little bit of a lighter colour and blend it all up. Because we're blending everything together, we don't have to worry about how precisely we chop everything. We can just rough chop all the veggies and we're good to go. Let's head on in. Slice one brown onion. Cut up three cloves of garlic. Chop two large potatoes. Cut up one and a half heads of broccoli. You can use the florets and the stalk as long as it's not too woody. Put a large pot on medium heat and add 2 tablespoons of oil. When the oil is hot enough, add the onions and the garlic and 1 tablespoon of salt. Cook for a minute or two and then add 1 litre of vegetable stock. We're using a liquid concentrate stock here. Add 2 bay leaves and let your liquid simmer for about 5 minutes. Then add your potatoes. Cook for about 5 to 7 minutes, depending on how large your potatoes are cut. Check the potatoes. If they're almost soft all the way through, you can add the broccoli and about. You can add the broccoli and about 500 ml of non-dairy milk. We're using our homemade oat milk here. Return the lid and let it simmer for a few minutes or until the broccoli is just cooked. Add 2 tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Stir it through and let it simmer again for a minute or two. Turn it off or take it off the heat and remove the two bay leaves. Now it's time to blend your soup. If you have a stick blender, that would be primo. If not, you can ladle it into a regular blender to whiz it up. Remember that hot liquid expands when you blend it, so leave yourself a lot of room in the jug. As always, taste your dish and season it accordingly. Return it to the heat if you need to before serving. Garnish your soup with some parsley and some cracked black pepper. Bon appetit friends! You can find the link to this recipe down below. Give us a thumbs up if you tried this recipe and liked it and feel free to leave us any comments. Till next time.